power, 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 power. Alright, my name is Richmond Namofasapon and I um, completed the University of Ghana this year. Um, did H&D marketing while I was in school at Accra Polytechnic as well because of the organization I had. I also read a little bit of HR at Central University while I was in school. And I'm the CEO of Youth Web Ghana, organizers of the Ghana Tertiary Awards and the Africa Tertiary Awards. We also own a newspaper coming up this month ending, that is October ending. And the newspaper is the Ghanaian Youth Newspaper, which aims solely as being the mouthpiece of the Ghanaian youth. We also have, I mean, um, a record label where we promote and, I mean, put young talents together to put them to, I mean, I mean, to become what they really want to be in the future. Talking about inspiration, what inspired me was the fact that every year 68,000 students graduate from our tertiary institution and only a little of, I mean, a little over 8,000 get employed. This worrying condition gets some of the young people who graduate from our tertiary institutions established groups such as the Graduate Unemployed, I mean, Graduate Association, which, is, which has its registration of about 24 to 25,000 students every year. You know, there are a lot of people in our tertiary institution who are doing so, so well, you get it. And the job market does not have, you know, enough space to absorb these young people. So I took it upon myself to establish an organization which would absorb some of the young people who, you know, find it difficult to get their talent driven successfully and also to, I mean, guard people to really establish themselves as good entrepreneurs. Aside that too as well, to really, you know, motivate people and make people understand that the misconception and wrong notion they have about African tertiary education being so innovative is not true and we can be very, I mean, practical and innovative. So that really inspired me to make a difference, you know, to establish an organization which I can employ some of my young people, some of my mates, pay them, establish branches across the country, and as well as, you know, open organizations that will train or give them, you know, orientation to some of the things that will help them to become who they want to become and make Ghana a developed country. Pretty girl, shake it. Pretty girl, shake it. Pretty girl, shake it. I like it like that. Um, talking about achievements, I think um, we've chugged a lot, but we're still not there yet. Some of the achievements are we successfully organizing the Ghana Tertiary Awards last year, and we awarded over 25 students and um, putting over 100 students in a category to motivate and encourage them. Aside that, we did some donation from Youth Web Foundation. We've been doing it every year. The last time we went to Wager Leposarium, which thanks to the media, they carried it out there to support us. Aside that achievement too, I mean, we run programs that have seminars and help young people to give them career guidance. We also have done the Ghana Youth for Peace during the election petition era to be the mouthpiece of young people to call on all both sides of the political side to to, to to come and support us. Aside that too, we've had a partnership with Ghana Coalition of Hepatitis B. We did the media tour with them to educate people on the myth of Hepatitis B as well. Talking about challenges, I should say that um, Basically, it's about funding. You know, what we are doing is being done by people who have the resources and stuff. We have a little resources. What always encourage and push us forward is the human resource that we have and the spirit of we decided not to give up in what we are doing. But the challenge we face is, you know, for people, you know, coming on board to support in terms of finance and, and other stuff. But then, as, as committed as we are, we are still making are still making it happen and um, we know with this platform we have gotten people will come on board to I mean accelerate whatever we are doing to make sure that Ghana reach the height we all want to see our country reach. So we want, we want to have an exclusive here on Campus TV and then Ghana Tertiary Awards is slated for um, 6th of November at the National Theatre and we have a press conference Monday 5th October to announce it but I'm doing this here first. 
so that everybody will know that it's on the 6th of November. As the Ghana Tertiary Awards, October and then we have the Ghanaian Youth Newspaper, which is the official map piece of the Ghanaian Youth coming up. And in March next year too, we are just putting our, our hands together and getting ready for the African Tertiary Awards, which we are currently in partnership with African embassies that we've been going and talking back and forth on what they can do to support what we want to do in March. So, uh, final words, I want to thank um, all youth web members, Campus TV. I want to thank, if I'm allowed, I want to thank Indomi so much, Life FM and ATV for giving us this platform. I thank everybody so much and um, we should all be very much aware that we can make it whilst we are young. We don't need to get old before. Let's make it happen now. Thank you.